Hi, and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching my review of Ardbeg 10 year old. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to my review of Ardbeg 10 year old. This is the second in a three part series of Ardbeg Core Range whiskies. I've already reviewed the Ardbeg Wee Beastie and if you'd like to check that out, I'll put a link in the description for you. This particular whiskey comes from the island of Isla in Scotland and it's a smoky whiskey and it gets that from peat. This particular whiskey is 10 years old, it's non-chill filtered, it's 46% ABV and it retails for £47 in the UK. Should we find out what it tastes like? On to the whiskey. So before I start nosing and tasting, let's have a quick look at the colour. I'd say that's like a pale straw, but potentially this does have added colour. Let's start with the nose. So apart from the obvious, which is smoke, I'd say the first thing I get is like a hint of cider vinegar. There is some burnt rubber, just a little bit. There is some sweetness from like vanilla. Yeah, and that sort of reminds me of icing sugar. There is uh, a sort of wood smoke note with this. I'd say it reminds me, it reminds me more of a, a sort of, you know, a home fire or um, a campfire, that sort of wood smoke. And there's also an unusual, unusual, unusual note. This reminds me of like, Apple pips, you know when you chew on an apple pip, that sort of slightly tannic, sort of um, woody, dry, slightly acidic sort of note. Unusual, probably the first time I think I've ever picked that up on a whiskey, but thought I'd tell you. Let's move on to the palette. Yeah, so I wouldn't say there's a lot going on on the palette. The flavours are quite pronounced though. There is an ashy smoke, that sort of smouldering bonfire, ashy smoke sort of flavour. Really is quite nice. But although that's quite pronounced, the sweetness and the vanilla really comes through on this. There's also a hint of sea salt, just a little sprinkling and um, yeah, I think that offsets the smoke really well on this. Let's have another sip. Yeah, there is a little heat. It does build, but it's not overpowering. Um, there's also uh, a slightly astringent sweetness coming from an apple cider note. Um, it's quite pleasant though. And there is a, a sort of a dry wood coming through. It's quite pronounced even before the finish um, starts to linger. But I'm not really getting much more. In terms of finish, I'd say it's quite long. There is that sort of ash, there is that dry wood, there is that vanilla. And there is a little bit of heat, a little bit of pepper. Um, and um, yeah, it does, it does linger for a long time, but this is actually quite a, quite a lovely dram. And I think, I don't think you want it to linger too much because you want to take another sip. That's, that's my opinion anyway. But in terms of value, well, obviously this retails for um, 47 pounds in the UK. It's regularly on offer in the UK and um, I think it can sort of sit around the 40 pound mark when it's on offer. And I I think really for a, a 10 year old single malt, you know, that's got the pedigree that Ardbeg has, I, I think that's not bad value. The experience you get from drinking this I think is worth the money and I 
I think those flavours really sit well on this. Although this is regarded as one of the smokiest whiskies in the world. Obviously that's subjective. Um, for, for me, I've definitely tried a lot peatier and a lot smokier. But I think this, for an, uh, you know, a core range whiskey, I think this sits nicely in terms of the balance of the sweet and the smoke. And um, yeah, definitely this works really well in certain situations, especially this time of the year being winter, I think it's a really good dram to turn to. I'm sure a lot of you out there have probably already tried this. Um, so if this isn't your first time, please let me know in the comments what you think of this. I'd really like to uh, get some feedback. And if you haven't tried it, I'll put a link in the description so you can check out where to find it. And hopefully you'll come back for part three. Sauncher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.